Hello U.S. History. The election of 1800 was an important turning point in American history. Federalist John Adams hoped to win re-election, but he faced an uphill battle due to the growing unpopularity of the Federalist Party. The Democratic-Republican candidate, Thomas Jefferson, campaigned against growing federal power, new taxes, the National Bank, and of course the Alien and Sedition Acts, all of which were elements of the Federalist Party. The election had an unexpected outcome and one that revealed a flaw in the Constitution. According to the Constitution, the President is not elected by the people, but rather by the Electoral College. Each state chooses its own electors, and the number of electors each state receives is based on its population. Every state has the same number of electors as it has senators and representatives. Under the original terms of the Constitution, each elector voted for two people. The normal practice was for each elector to cast a ballot for his party's presidential candidate and one for the vice presidential candidate. In the election of 1800, this resulted in a tie between the two Democratic-Republican candidates, Thomas Jefferson and Aaron Burr. Yes, that Aaron Burr, the guy who shot Hamilton. In the case of a tie, or if there is no clear majority winner, the House of Representatives, which at that time was still controlled by the Federalist Party, must decide who will be president. There was some fear that the Federalists would take advantage of the situation and refuse to step down, thus ignoring the election results. Many times throughout history, this type of situation resulted in political violence and civil unrest and it seemed that the young United States might suffer the same fate. Remarkably, this did not happen in 1800. There was no violence, and the election of 1800 demonstrated that power in the United States could be peacefully transferred despite strong disagreements between the parties. After several revotes, Thomas Jefferson finally emerged as the winner. The election of 1800 also highlights the debate surrounding the Electoral College. Although it does not happen frequently, the electoral vote does not always match the popular vote. Five times in American history, the winner of the popular vote did not win the electoral vote and therefore did not win the presidency. The two most recent were in the election of 2000 between George W. Bush and Al Gore and the election of 2016 between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. These situations did not result in political violence, but they have led some people to question whether or not the Electoral College system should be altered.